Hello, Karen O'Connor of SingWise.com here. Oftentimes our tongue roots are too far back in our throats and this leaves us with less space for resonance inside the pharynx, the throat, our primary resonator on account of its large size. This tongue posture also tends to produce a gagged, throaty, dark, imbalanced, distorted sound. And this is especially common when we sing the ah vowel because the tongue posture for the production of this vowel is the lowest and most back of all the vowels. When we're singing, we need to learn to inhale and phonate with the tongue root leaning up against the anterior, the front wall of the pharynx, the throat, rather than allowing it to bunch up inside the resonating space of the throat. And this means changing the tongue root's posture from what it typically is during speech for most English speakers. Slightly rolling the tongue forward as though it's rolling atop a miniature exercise ball or a conveyor belt can help to get the tongue root leaning up against the front wall of the throat so that we'll have more authentic room inside the pharynx for resonance. So if this is the, the floor of the mouth here and this is the front wall of the throat, the pharynx, this is the root of the tongue, the body, and the tip, we want to take our imaginary ball and set the tongue atop it there. And you can see that there's a little bit of space there between the root of the tongue and the front wall of the throat. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rock that tongue forward. We're going to roll it like it's rolling atop that exercise ball. And you see how the space between the front wall of the throat and the root of the tongue gets smaller? That's basically the action that we want. It's a little bit more subtle than this, but you've got the idea. Practice inhaling and exhaling with your tongue root in this posture before singing and training your vowels. Retrain your tongue root into a better posture in silence first so that you can reverse any unproductive reflexes and muscle memory. Roll it only as far forward as will sound natural and pleasant. If the resonant sounds at all distorted, it's too far forward or too high for that vowel. You still need to preserve the linguistic height and frontness or backness of the tongue that define the vowel that you're singing. You'll probably have more success with this if you use a mirror to observe your tongue's behavior because we tend not to have very accurate proprioception when it comes to our tongues. We often need some visual feedback until our tongues develop new neural pathways and muscle memory and start to assume this posture more automatically and intuitively. It's likely going to take a lot of work and conscious effort to change the tongue root's habitual posture because that posture is being reinforced continually throughout the day as you speak. This can be tricky to do without introducing tensions at the tongue root as well, but keep working at it. Your resonant voice will thank you. If this tip has been helpful and you want to receive notifications whenever I share more tips like this one, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today.